It's Tuesday morning, bright and early in the morning. It's still dark out, as you can tell. Some people were upset that I didn't use this camera at night to show the awesome night effects. Well, I'm doing it now, and welcome to my vlog. And welcome to my vlog. made a video showing the ability of this camera at night and it's going on the Northern Tech Channel. Like all cameras at night, it does have a focusing problem because it doesn't know what the target. You know, you zoom in on a street light and it's all like herpa derp. I can't really friggin figure it out. Now it can. You know. It's not sure what the target and then you look around the yard and you can see Oreo over there in the distance dicking around with something, probably eating his own poop. Fun and entertaining things like that. So, figured I'd give you guys a night shot at the beginning of this vlog because I didn't give you one at the end of yesterday's. But I'm having a cigarette right now, then I'm going to bed, and tomorrow we'll carry on with the vlog. And by tomorrow, I mean after I fall asleep and wake up. Just so you know. I'm not even sure what time it is right now, but just go with it. Any hoozle, I'm going to head her back inside. Talk to you guys in a bit. It's Tuesday morning now, and I just woke up. It's actually Tuesday afternoon. No, it's Tuesday morning. It's 11.59. Yeah. And I just woke up, and uh, we're going to get this day started. And we got mail. We got packages. Well, one package and one slip. I got to go pick up one tomorrow. Sucks. We got to feed the fur babies. I already fed the dog. Now I'm going to tease the cat. <laughs> Felix hates when I do this. Am I right? Are you right about what? What are you, what are you talking about? Felix. What? What do you want? Look what I got for you. <gasps> I like food. Give me food. Give me, give me, give me, give me. You can have the food. Oh, oh, oh. Give me food. Okay, it's going in your bowl. It's going in your bowl. Okay. There you go, buddy. Oh, come. No, not cool. Come on, take the bowl out. Take it. Come on. Okay, 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 take okay. It okay. Out. Okay, good. <laughs> he really doesn't like it when I do that. He doesn't like that trick. But, uh, yeah, we got some packages here. Where the frig did I put them? Oh, man, I just got up. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm really liking this camera. You guys are kind of hit and miss on it, but so far, so good for me. Uh, there has been some issues with the video quality yesterday. Still working the kinks out. Well, we'll see what we can do. But uh, let's head her upstairs, turn Star Trek off, because I watch Star Trek when I sleep. I like that. And uh, we'll crack into this package. I'll show you what I got. Yeah! Alrighty, so now I'm in my office here. And uh, here's the package. $3.45 postage. Uh, let's crack it open. I, can, I can't do this one-handed, so I'm not going to bust out a tripod or anything. I'm just going to crack it open and show you guys. You're going to be pretty excited for this one. And there's the contents, guys. Right on, eh? Probably wondering, Adam, what the hell are those switches for? Those kind of look familiar, but not really. Guys, so the switches for my Trans Am's windows. Bought new ones. Got them on eBay there. So we're going to stove these in the car one of these days and see if that fixes the problem with the windows. If not, rock auto. It's time to get me some freaking motors. And then I got a guy who's going to install them. Right on. Oreo just started barking. Not sure what the hell's going on. Maybe there's another package here. Oh, no, no. Girlfriend's home for lunch. Okay. I'm going to go have a shower. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Right on. So I'm honestly not sure what to do today. I've already had a shower. As you can tell, I look a little bit cleaner. Right on. Might go outside for a cigarette. Could really use a cigarette. Think I might go outside for a cigarette. Let's go outside for a cigarette. Oh, I really think I could afford to, like, you know, brush my hair and stuff. Maybe I should do that. There. Don't I look amazing? I just realized there's a big scuff mark on the lens. Freak sakes. But, you know, whatever. So, I'm just outside right now, having a cigarette. As you can tell, porch light is on. Should have turned it off. Probably gonna get ripped on for that one. You know how it is. Still, it's pretty, uh, pretty shitty weather out. We got gray skies, green grass. What can you do, right? What can you do? So, I'm freaking hoping that other package in the mail is actually my, uh, Deal Extreme package with all my camera mounts. Because that would be friggin' epic. I think what's happening with this camera in the car, to be honest with you, is that it's picking up noise from the dash and it's causing the vibrations. So I'm pretty sure a suction cup mount or some other sort of mount 
where I can have the camera situated somewhere else in the car rather than on the dash itself it would probably solve a lot of problems you know also I can hook up a bunch of cameras in the car and just do like a super camera shot of, of everything and then put it into a video and just be like what the frig am I watching you know what the frig am I watching that's what I'm doing that video is going on vlogging life it's gonna be the 16 cameras of vlogging and uh, yeah, it's going to be a 4x4 grid, and it's just going to be ridiculous. So I can't wait to get that one ready to rock. Get all the cameras in the car situated, and just friggin' hit record on all of them. And uh, just give her. It's going to be the most dickered video anybody's seen on YouTube. And it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. It's going to be freaking awesome. So, all right, well, smoking a cigarette, and i um, just going to go from there. So probably going to have some stew after for lunch, because uh, I am feeling kind of hungry. So... Well, that's one of those battery powered bicycles. He's gone now, but he's like way up the road over there. I heard the electric engine kick in. Looked like a 10 speed and then he twists the throttle and he's got power assist right on. There is movement over there in the foliage. There is movement. I'm not sure where it is now. Oh, it's Chippy. He's back. It's Chippy. Friggin' rights. Here, I thought I killed him. Well, I guess he's still alive. I guess that means he's gonna come back in the house. Oh well, we'll get the pellet gun ready. <laughs> Blow his head off again, I guess. Friggin' zombie chippy. Comes back from the dead every year. Right on. Oh, I know it doesn't look good, but that's awesome stew. And I'm gonna have a big ass bowl of it. Right on. So I think I fixed the interlacing problem with the video. There was a setting I forgot to turn on called the interlace video. So I've gone ahead and done that. And I think that might have solved the problem, right on. So now all my video will be de-interlaced, de whether I'm using this camera, the Panasonic, the Flip, Kodak, whatever. Because uh, I don't really like the line tearing, and that always bothered me, and I always thought it was a problem with the camera, but it turns out it's an actual problem with the way I edit. So, yay, that's fixed. Um, I'm not sure uh, what else to say, except for my stew is currently being cooked. Right on. <coughs> Felix is in the background. What? He won't shut up. Oh, I always shut up. Leave me alone. What's your problem? Problem. Nothing. I'm just bored. I got nothing to do. Really? Yeah, really. I'm bored. Well, you got to make a video, dude. They're bugging for it, so you got to make a video. Uh, I guess I could make a video, but I'm like really bored and stuff. Really? Yeah, I'm bored. Well, you know what? What? You, you kind of sort of got to have to. What? So, well, figure it out and make something so I can put it on your site already. YouTube is hard. I don't know what to do. Well, yeah, YouTube is hard, bud. It is. But it's fun. Yeah. It's like a fun thing. It is a fun thing, but it's hard. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Tell me what to do. Any hoozle. Stew is done. I'm gonna go eat. Let's do this. Seriously. It looks like dog food, but I guarantee you, it's not. We got beef, carrots, potatoes. Um, not sure what else is in there. Probably like other things. Maybe some green things, the green peppers and stuff, but I'm gonna eat the shit out of this and then uh, carry on with the day. And just like that, the food was gone. Sweetness. Well, I feel freaking awesome. I feel amazing right now. Like so full and stuff and good to go. So tonight we got three men on for uh, night shift, which is awesome. I am prime, but I'm only prime two days out of the week now instead of all four. Well, there's four. There's five days in a week, but I was primed for all four. So I'm primed tonight, tomorrow night, and then the rest of the week is smooth sailing. I love that kind. I hate being prime. I was getting shit when I'm prime because I always forget something. Or, you know, they, they don't tell you when you do something good, but when you do something bad, you get shit on pretty hard. So, right on. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm prime tonight. I'm prime tomorrow night. Right on. Hoping it's a slow, easy night. Because you know what? When we're not busy, that's a good thing. That means the network is doing what it's supposed to be doing. And the customers aren't angry and quitting. Which is perfect. So, um, just going to go with the flow tonight and see what she brings. And uh, hammer down. So, right on. So, I've gone ahead and installed this thing here. Which is the Evrio Media Browser. I'm gonna give her a go and see how well this thing works for uh, copying files over and not dicking over the program and stuff. Sweet. There's one awesome feature about this camera that I cannot let go. <laughs> let, let, let pass up here. It's the high speed recording feature. And what I mean by that is it'll record at 300 frames per second, slowing the footage down five times. And uh, I've been working on a little video for the Northern Tech Channel to show that. And so far, it's actually pretty funny. 
it's pretty good stuff I really like it the only problem is, is just like with the Canon and all those other 240 to 600 FPS recorders when you cut the video speed down the audio is removed so there is no audio during those scenes so I'm probably just gonna stab some music in there with it and go with it so I just played fetch with the dog and uh, have the camera sitting on a tripod right down here and uh, when he's running back I'm hoping he's within frame it's gonna look so funny with his, all of his fur just gubber dirge gubber dirge you know so we'll see how that looks and uh, yeah it's not too bad I did a couple other things like a little lighter in front of it and blew out smoke in front of it and poured water in front of it you know stuff like that so um, the one for the Canon the LPH 300 it does uh, 640 by 480 at 240 frames per second this one here does 300 frames per second at 720p resolution I believe how to check the footage but it is widescreen resolution so it looks a lot nicer than it did from the Canon but you'll notice the, the shots I took inside the garage you can see the fluorescent lights just flickering away so we'll have to see uh, you know I don't know I'm just I'm just having fun testing with this camera and every aspect of it and I haven't even touched the Wi-Fi settings yet you know I can link this thing to my touchpad or link it to any one of my Android tablets or even my phone I can put it in one room and be in another room as long as I'm within Wi-Fi range of the network and I can see what the camera sees and I can do remote record I can hit the record button on my tablet and record from this camera or use it as a remote monitoring device or it also has movement detection recording it's stacked with features it's unbelievable JVC went all out for a little package. But I'm sure uh, I'll be doing a lot more videos from the Northern Tech showing off all this camera's features and we'll see what we can do to uh, fix all the problems we're having with it now, like the, the in-car scenes and all that. We'll get all that corrected. Okay, Bert, I'm trying to vlog here. Seriously? Seriously? You're gonna be like that. But we'll get all the kinks worked out of this camera. I'm sure of it. And then uh, we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and edit up the morning part of this video and get that all ready to rock. And then uh, it's probably off to work soon. I don't even know what time it is, but probably off to work soon. So right on. Well, let's hammer down. Alrighty, well behind me here, you see the low light footage being uploaded. And over here, you see the morning part of the vlog being rendered. Right on, love that. Yeah, it's about 2.30 now. I'm gonna go outside and have a cigarette. Probably go into the garage and we'll do a little vlog or something. Let's do that. So Pug thinks I should have a mustache. What do you guys think? Can I be part of the bad mustache gang? Really Pug? No, this is not a feature built into the editor. This is actually a feature built into the camera, guys. Pretty deckered. So I got this great idea. I'm gonna mount Bendy here on the passenger seat for the drive to work and see if that makes a difference. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I think I got Bendy installed. Check that out. So we got it wrapped around the seat. Originally I had it going through the bottom here. The problem is, is the camera mount on this thing's in the back or in the front. So it wouldn't have fit. But if we install you on there, like so, that's basically the view. Get back here and check it out. No, nope, you're looking at the dash, you know? And we can even do a shot like this. Holy, I gotta loosen up a bolt or something. This thing's tight. Urgh. You know, if we bring this back a bit, we'll just position this perfectly. Like it's not going anywhere. And we can even do like this, where you can still see out the window and you can see me driving. How freaking cool is that, eh? How freaking cool is that? You know, we still have full zoom control and everything. That's pretty decent, eh? Pretty freaking decent. Right on. That bendy tripod was by far the best thing I've ever purchased. By far the best I've ever purchased. Well, I'm gonna get a hammer because I want to pound this sign into that corner because it keeps falling down, so I really need to hammer it in. And now that it's daytime, I can really go to freaking town on her. So I'm gonna do that now. Oh shit, yeah. You'd almost swear I knew what I was doing. Right on, right on. Always put your tools back. Makes them easier to find when you need them. Right on. Okay, I got a serious question for anybody out there who's good with lawns. As you see, my front lawn's looking pretty rough. You know, I got salt dead over here from all the winter salt. Got a lot of weeds. We're not allowed to use chemical de-weeder anymore. And a lot of dead grass. What would you do to try and bring this back? Besides just mowing it, which is what I do every year. If anybody out there has any ideas, post them in the comments. Let me know, because I'm no good with lawns. I've done some research, but that just confuses me. Lawns are dickered, just saying. There we go. Well, the uh, low light test is uploaded. So you guys can check that out and see what you think. As for me, I gotta fly, I gotta go to work. I also gotta find my lighter, find my lighter. 
right on. And now it is off to work I go. Garrett just contacted me. Apparently he bought himself, watch out Phoenix. He bought himself a new lens for his camera, but he's got that new Canon and it's got a wider thread. So the lens won't work for him. Wanted to know if I wanted it. And I said, yes, of course, I definitely want it. But on that note guys, I gotta head her out to the car, get this camera all situated and we're off to work. Let's do this. Alrighty, let's move fast, kick some ass, and I don't know. I don't have my wallet. Freak sakes. Okay, now we got the wallet. Now we're good to go. I've been wanting to do this shot here with the camera mounted on top of the headrest for a long freaking time. Just kind of, sort of, never got around to it. If I open this up, how bad does it get the video footage? Oh, it doesn't hurt it at all. Let's get out of here. Let's go to work. Let's go do that working thing. Yeah, I have no idea if that'll be better or worse, the camera angle, but uh, we will see, we will see. Also with the wind cut on, I have no idea what's going to happen. Kind of seriously hoping that tomorrow is my friggin' Deal Extreme package, because uh, that would be Uber. That package has a lot of goodies in it, a lot of stuff for me to review, you know, more videos for the Northern Tech. And really that's what I'm trying to do is get more content on the Northern Tech because I feel like I've been been kind of slacking on that, you know? Like I've been really slacking off on that channel and the vlogs, they just happen, right? They, they, just, they just happen to work because every day I'm awake and a vlog is just your daily, well for me my daily vlogs are my daily life, what I'm doing day to day. So it's just me talking about what's going on in my life and what's exciting and new and so far the only thing exciting and new this week is that camera so I lead a pretty boring life but I try to keep it uh, somewhat on the ups and ups and uh, freaking have at her so you know so I'm not sure uh, what's gonna be happening tonight after work not sure if I'm gonna shut her down like I normally do at work and then you know get the vlog up before it's home time I don't know we'll have to see what we do mind you if I do do that normally what I do is that something interesting happens when I get home is I shoot that clip for the next day and then just add it in and go with it, right? But uh, yeah, uh, can I fit? That's the real question. Like a glove. I'm just hoping the shot's cool enough for you guys. Get more of a, I'm in the passenger seat type feel. The buddy behind me in the truck was checking out the tight green pants on the side of the road. Didn't realize the light was green. Oh, what a gorgeous day out today, guys. It's 16 degrees Celsius. Friggin' beautiful. I think that's about, I want to say, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm probably wrong on that, but I could be right. I don't even need my jacket, but I'm wearing it anyway just because. I guarantee you tonight it's going to get chilly out. I guarantee it's going to get chilly tonight. Yeah. Summer is slowly making its way to the north. Oh, freaking crazy Logie dropped a video today. Did you see, did you see, did you see? It's all about freaking the horde up in the Northwest Territories, up in Hay River. Him and his buddy went hunting. Well, his buddy went hunting because Logie doesn't have a hunting license up there. And his buddy's uh, part native, so he's got his Métis. And if you're a Métis, you can hunt all, all year round. So his buddy went hunting and shot a bunch of partridge and, and, and ducks and they're gonna have an awesome dinner tonight, that's for sure. I friggin' love duck meat. Duck meat's delicious. Partridge is awesome too, but you gotta do it a certain way. You know, stew it up. Uh, my friend's mom used to make uh, partridge fingers, basically chicken fingers, but with partridge instead of chicken. And uh, the batter she used was beer batter, and they were just amazing. Like, we'd go out and kill like friggin' 12 to 20 partridge, come back, and she just make up a platter of them so we just sit there and drink beers and eat chicken or partridge fingers all night and, and play poker or whatever game we had Pocono or Pocono is a neat game hard to play when you're drunk because it requires strategy it's kind of like shuffleboard you want to get your piece as close to the center without getting it in the hole and what was that sound somebody just blew a tire um but yeah Pocono uh it's a fun game my dad has it I still like Ramoli. That's so far my favorite game because you can really strategize in that card game. I like games with a strategy, but not full on risk, you know? 
I like games where you gotta like think your moves ahead, plan plan a strike pattern, and then get her done, rather than games where you just like just play like like Monopoly. Well, Monopoly has a strategy too. I shouldn't say that. But like you know, shoots and ladders. There's no strategy to that game. You roll the dice and move your dude. Like. You know, sorry, there's no strategy to that game. You roll your dice and move your dude. Monopoly, however, yeah, you roll your dice and move your dude, but you gotta know what to buy and what to sell, what to keep and what to freaking get rid of in order to dominate the world. And that's what I liked about Monopoly. Monopoly is all about, you know, world domination. Risk is kind of like the same, but we've done Risk games where they've last all weekend. Everybody's out walking their scruffy. Maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow. I'll take Scruffy for a walk. We'll go around the neighborhood. Hopefully we can go before the kids get let out from school or not let out from school, but when they're not on recess. Because Oreo gets excited when he sees people. He's got to go over and say hi to every last individual. Friggin' dog craves attention. We give him a lot of attention at home, but he just loves attention. Doesn't care about other dogs, really likes other people. It's pretty decker. Oh, I'm stuck behind the loser cruiser. Freak sakes. That sucks. But the light's red anyway, so I got... Oh, frig, I hope this video works out. Yeah, so I haven't played Minecraft in a while. Used to, I was playing pretty hard on that Sin Stick server, and then shit started happening, and I kind of stopped playing for a bit. And like when, when Logie started getting all the bad news and all that, and he kind of stopped playing, so I kind of stopped playing because I like playing with Logie because we, we'd be dinks and do stupid things and it was fun, but then, you know, he kind of quit playing, so I kind of quit playing, but I'm thinking tonight when I get home, I might jump on the Minecraft server and see what's up, see what's changed in the town. Maybe I'll do an update video for the Northern Tech, I don't know. Right now I'm focusing all my, my efforts on the Northern Tech on this camera, but uh, I got to start doing some game stuff on there because I forgot, I did label the Northern Tech, I did label the Northern Tech games, news, reviews, and tech, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that, and, uh, go from there, maybe I can get a little bit more people over to the SinStick server, and we can have a lot more fun. Please, nobody turning, good, 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 no crashing for me. The road should be bumpy. Holy traffic, freak sakes. Oh, that hurt. Alrighty, we're at friggin' work. Oh, luxury parking. Dig it. No shovel required. Alright. We're at work now, so I'll talk to you guys in my break. So until then, peace out, guys. Alrighty, so it's break time here, and uh, I just came out for a smoke. And needless to say, I'm a little peeved off. So I get into work today. I got an email from my boss saying, what happened on Friday? Apparently the automated call delivery system went down. Remember when I said on Friday it was really slow? It must be a good night? Well, apparently it wasn't a good night. The automated call delivery system went down. We had no notification. On the actual, like we have a great big 50-inch uh, TV upstairs bolted to our desk that we uh, have all our test machines on. It reports when people are logged in, when there's calls in the queue and all that stuff. So we can see if everybody's logged in, who's available, how many agents are available, what queues have calls in them, and how long they've been in the queue. Well, that thing was functioning fine. It was showing all the right amount of people logged in. It was showing everything perfectly. You know, we were able to log out for lunches, log out for smoke breaks, all that stuff. So it like it was working fine we had no notification it was down but apparently it's our fault that we didn't notice it was down which is dick because we have no alarm that goes off telling us that the acd failed and my boss is like ripping on me like it's my fault that i didn't notice it and it's like are you serious you can't be doing this right now you're making it seem like it's my fault because i didn't notice the damn thing was down it's super not my fault i honestly have no control over that so why are you shitting on my parade so it kind of pisses me off so i emailed him back and i told him exactly that well without the swears but i'm like you know it was working fine there's no calls were coming in we didn't think anything of it figured it was a friday night it was a nice day out too so maybe the network was working perfectly and everything was good and Nobody really uh, had any problems to troubleshoot, so they didn't call in, you know? It's Friday, people like to get on the sauce. 
have a good freaking weekend, you know? Get a good start to a good weekend and have a good one. No, 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 no. This, they managed to find out it was down Saturday morning and had it up and running by Saturday afternoon. We didn't know, you know? Like, our network operations center, which is up in Timmins, they're the ones who get the alarms, not us. All we do is handle inbound calls. That's it. So, when shit hits the fan, they should be seeing the alarm, not us. So why am I getting heckled? Because somebody up in Network Control Center didn't notice an alarm going off. Maybe somebody up there should be getting scolding, not me, I'm just saying. So, oh, it's friggin' dicked. So I got an email from my supervisor, my boss, and his boss about this. Office space, anybody? Yeah, big times. That kind of pissed me off a little bit, but whatever, I'm over it. I'm over it. We'll see what happens later on, but oh, they really gotta, really gotta fix things around here so that we get a, we get a notification. Because if it's gonna fall on us, we need to be notified that shit's broken. But uh, yeah, I just took a look at the car footage and. I don't think that's a good angle. <laughs> I'm starting to think that. And I accidentally left it on the super stabilizer. And I'm starting to think that super stabilizer mode really overcompensates. So I'm going to try something there. I'm going to try using uh, Sony Vegas' built in friggin' image stabilizer. See if I can clean up the, the shot somewhat and make it a little bit less. Uh, less shaky because I'm really not impressed because there's two two modes of stabilization on this thing. So the first mode of stabilization is basically just the uh, optical stabilization. The second mode turns on optical and the electronic stabilization. And I'm starting to question if the electronic stabilization is what is friggin' over the program so that when the camera shakes, it has a sensor, it has a what do you want to call it? Uh, like the iPhones have a gyro sensor. So when that shakes, it'll try and compensate really quickly for it. And I'm thinking that's why she gets the jitteries and starts going nuts. Like we're having an earthquake or something. So I'm going to try it again. Right now I got her just on optical stabilization, not on the friggin' electronic. And we'll see how that works out. But this camera is just stacked with features. A friggin' so much you can do with it. It's ridiculous. Like JVC really packed a lot of stuff into it. And I haven't even, like the difference between this one here, the 705 and the 700. Well, the 705 is literally the 700 with the extra battery and the uh, memory card. The 700 doesn't come with that, it just comes with the battery. You gotta purchase your own memory card. Well, the 700 series and the 500 series, the only difference is, is all the Wi-Fi shit. I haven't even touched the Wi-Fi shit yet. So the Wi-Fi shit is like, you can link it to your phone or to your tablet and you can like set the camera up, like way the frig, like you could set it up over there somewhere and then using your tablet, you can see what the camera sees and you have controls for record, pause, stop, and you can monitor the camera from your tablet or your iPhone or your Android phone or your Android tablet, whatever. So that's a pretty sweet feature and I haven't even tried it yet. I'm gonna have to give that a go and make a video on that for the tech channel as well. And uh, I don't know where I would use that for the vlogs, but it's a neat feature, I guess, you know. I guess if we're over at Billy's and we're doing a let's blow something up video, I can set the camera up and then run away and then just start recording with the tablet and let the, uh, and stay out of harm's way, right? But I don't really want to put my camera in harm's way because, you know, I don't want to break my shit. So, oh well. But anywho, break time's probably already, already over. Today's vlog is going to be a long one again. Sorry about that. But uh, just going to freaking have at her and carry on with the day. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys on my lunch break. Peace out. Oh, we might have the action shot here. Wonder what the frig's going on. Come out for lunch break and I'm greeted by a bunch of friggin' firefighters and things. Not sure what the frig's going on here. What have we got way the hell down there? I don't know what's going on. Dickard. Well, everybody seems to be standing outside over there. I'm gonna go over and find out what the frig's going on because uh, this is Dickard. So apparently the story is they smell smoke on the first floor, so they evac the building. Well, that's the way she goes. Smell smoke? Probably is a fire. GTFO, call the cops, you know. So we got the fire guys over there investigating the shit and all that, so. Probably old Johnny Knucklefingers there sitting in the friggin' washroom just having a cigarette. Friggin' guy. He's been told not to do that anymore, you know. Labels on the walls, you think you get the point, but obviously he doesn't, so. Friggin' guy. But whatevs. So you guys want to hear something completely dicked? Every time I say, well, I'm not going to be using the Skaven channel anymore, something pops up. So, sitting there tonight, and this happened actually before my break, I didn't mention it then, but sitting there, minding my own business, just doing things, and I got an email come through on my phone from a studio called Makers. You probably heard me talking about them in the past. Basically the same studio that uh, Shea Carl's part of, and uh, a bunch of other people are part of Maker Studios. It's a really big network owned by YouTube. Well, they contacted me for some reason on the Skaven channel through the Skaven email address, asking me if I would like to become a part of Maker Studio. Now, the Skaven channel has a lot of videos on there, and I guess there's a lot of rewatchability on those videos, because it scores about 2,000, 
2,000 views a day, and I haven't uploaded a video to that channel in forever. So I honestly didn't think it was possible to, to partner that channel because it has a defunct AdSense on it, but obviously it is. So right on. Well, I think it is. I don't know. So uh, I filled out the forms needed and everything, and uh, they sent me an email back saying, you know, sign off on this contract and contact YouTube to release the channel and blah, 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 and all that jazz. Same shiznit I had to do with uh, Vlog and Life to get on the TGN network. So I basically did all that noise, and uh, we'll see what happens with that, eh? Who knows? Maybe the Skaven channel will get partnered too, and I can start making a little bit of cash off of that channel, put more back into the vlogs and stuff. Who knows? So see what happens there. If that goes goes through then maybe I'll just use a Skaven channel for my skits and shit you know instead of uh, putting them up here on vlogging life I'll throw them up on Skaven and do stuff like that but I don't know I don't think it's gonna go through honestly I honestly do not think it's gonna work but we'll see we'll see and then uh, yeah I'll freaking have at her cuz like every day I check that channel and there's like 68 comments on it brand new comments and they're all my older videos, like how to make a, a light for your camera and, you know, a lot of the David's Farm video footage and people calling me a goof for hanging around with a pedophile, stuff like that, you know. Gotta love that. Gotta love that, eh? Frig. But whatever. You know, so I, I don't think it's going to go through, but if it does, then right on. And if it doesn't, then frig it. I won't even worry about that channel anymore. But, uh, if anybody can do it, Makers can do it. Because Makers is owned now by YouTube. That's like the YouTube in-house friggin' network. So... We'll see what happens. But uh, as for me, I'm on lunch break right now. I'm just uh, chilling out and thought I would investigate why those guys were all outside. And well, now we know, eh? And knowing is half the battle. You know I had to, come on. So I'll keep you guys all updated on that and we'll see what happens there. Also, on a lighter note, I gotta let you guys know something really cool. Guess whose birthday it is today? Crazy British bloke, this guy. So you should all like run over to his channel and just spam the shit out of his latest video or hell, spam the shit out of his wall and wish him happy birthday. You know, freaking just have at her. Um, freaking guy's birthday today, which is May the 1st. You guys are gonna see this probably near the end of the night, May the 1st, maybe May the 2nd, I don't know. Like, depends on when you see it, but if you see it May the 2nd, it was yesterday, and if you see it May the 1st, then it was today. But you should go spam the shit out of his wall. I'm sure he's gonna drop a video letting you know that it's bloke's birthday. But uh, I just found out from Where's Bobby, he, he texted me. Because normally I find out about people's birthdays through Facebook. But bloke don't have a Facebook. So I don't, I didn't know when his birthday was, and I just found out like through Bobby. And he's like, by the way, did you know today's bloke's birthday? And I'm like, this is what the fuck? You know, uh, last year he was at the farm for his birthday and uh i think he got like a cake and a bunch of other things and you know it was a good little time for him but this year here i don't know what he's up to probably gone for dinner or something I'm gonna get all liquored up and have a good time but i don't know i don't know but by all means go over to bloke's channel and just friggin spam the shit out of his wall and be like happy birthday buddy friggin right on and all that and just like lose it on him and he'll be like oh my god yeah you know it'll be awesome and stuff so i say give her i say give her Holy shit, somebody else is videoing over there. We got another YouTuber on the lot. We got another YouTuber on the lot. Look at the videoing. Totally videoing the fire truck. That's my job, video thief. Nah, I'm just kidding. But, uh, any hoozle guys, I don't think anything else is gonna go on tonight. But if something else does happen tonight, I will be sure to uh, post it in tomorrow's vlog. But as for this vlog here, I'm gonna shut her down here. And I know some people love it when I say that. I'm gonna shut her down. Just, just shut her down but uh, that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna freaking shut her down and if something else happens tonight I'll be sure to put it in tomorrow's vlog and I'll let you guys know but as for this guy here I think we're good for today and tomorrow is another day so if you like today's video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button lets me know you like the video and I kind of like that and if you have any questions comments concerns about the video you know where to leave them comment section below and until next time guys keep on vlogging <laughs>